What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Quick note before I begin today's review, please check your subscriptions on YouTube as they are apparently doing a quote bot purging. I've heard from various other YouTubers and other people that they've been getting unsubscribed from channels that they were subscribed to. And if you're not already subscribed to me here at Ask the Cheese Gaming, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It helps me out a lot. Now, on to the review. Today, I'll be talking about what I consider to be a hidden gem racing game for the Nintendo 64. It's called Scars, or Super Computer Animal Racing Simulator. This is an arcade kart racer developed by Vivid Image and published by Ubisoft. It was released for PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, and PC. The Nintendo 64 port saw a North American release of December 4th of 1998. Now, a quick note, I haven't played the PC or PlayStation 1 ports, but since I've recently began really trying to collect for the Nintendo 64, this game has definitely been a pleasant surprise of games that I've picked up. In Scars, you get to pick from animal carts such as a snake, an elephant, or a tiger, or various other animals, and race them around computer-generated tracks. Like many other kart racers, you use bombs, missiles, boosts, shields, and even a magnet or barriers to help you blast your enemies to victory and win first place. You can unlock more carts by completing and competing in Grand Prix, and then after winning and placing in first place, you unlock special challenges. In the challenges, you will race mano a mano versus a boss, and when you beat them, you will unlock their cart. Also in this game, you can race in multiplayer, single race, or time trials. I gotta say, trying to shave time off your score in time trials is a major challenge, but it's definitely fun. This game offers a nice wide variety of courses to play on, such as green hilltops, a fossil canyon boneyard, or icy mountaintop. One neat feature of this game that I feel really helps it stand out is the ability to hop. This can help you, such as if your enemy throws a barrier up in front of you, if you time it right, you can hop over it, or in a tight turn, you could try to hop and power slide. Speaking of power sliding, let's talk for a second about the controls of the game, since I haven't addressed that yet. I found them um, to be very responsive and easy to figure out. It didn't take me long before I was drifting around tight corners and leaving my opponents in the dust. The only real negative that I have to say about this game is the sound. The sound effects for the weapons that you use lack any real good impact or oomph, and sometimes you wonder if you even hit your opponent. Also, the soundtrack in this game can tend to be a little bit repetitive at times. It's not necessarily bad, it's kind of a softer, quieter techno theme, but I just find it to be a little bit repetitive. So, all in all, what do I think about this game? Well, as I said at the start of the video, I would definitely consider this to be a hidden gem, and one that I would highly recommend to anyone who enjoys kart racers or just racing games in general. At about $11, according to price charting online, I would highly recommend this game to anyone. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, comment, and a share. And if there's a game you want to see me talk about, comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Now until then, stay safe everyone out there everybody, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.